get so mad, there's no control in me My thoughts get so bad, I'm like Oh God, here goes I lost all feeling from my head to my toes You said some shit that I can't let go So just stay tuned for the rest of the show What are your thoughts on having a diverse workforce? Obviously we work in an industry where Even now we've got people going past um, Oh, there's actually a female that just walked past Right, when, right <laughs> on cue when I said that but, but when you look across the hall um, you're more likely to see white males than anything else, than any other demographic. Yes, um, can't say that. I, <laughs> yeah, what can I say to that? No, it is it is true. But I do think diversity in work, in any business or in any environment is vital. Different people do things in different ways, yeah. and different cultures do things in different ways. And it's important to understand those so that you can actually have different perspectives in life so from my from my side of things disability is quite an important factor for, for me so within the disability side of things having people that have actually got hearing impairments working within the business they'll think of things differently so yeah. they'll have a focus on what is the audio quality like within the building what is the does the induction loop even work here yeah. what's the design of it and they'll take prior, not, maybe not priority but they'll have a focus on that yep. Um, people with visual impairments will look at things in a slightly different way. People with physical disabilities will look at a building or a room or a how to how you get out there and say, actually, we need to redesign or this needs to be looked at. Yeah. So those different perspectives don't just not just in the how you use the space, but that it's the mentality and how you think about doing things. Yeah. Change the way that you design and will look at things in a way that maybe people who haven't, don't suffer from a, di well, I don't want to use the word suffer, sorry, that's not the right word, but people that are having physical disability yeah. or um, even in mental disability, yeah. they don't uh, think of things exactly how you, other people do. So it's not a wrong way, it's a right way, because it's their right way, it's, their, it's the way that they do things, and, or I do things, and we, we have that, and having their perspective and point of view of something will maybe change just a tweak, just to say, actually, we need to think about that, or we need to have this, or that's actually a good way of doing things. And for me, something that I talk about is equity. Mm -hmm. And um, until you recognise what people need, exactly what you're saying, the things that, and what works for, for the individuals and treating people, mm -hmm. not in a blanket form, that if I'm doing this for one member of staff, I've got to do it for everybody, but actually saying, well, that doesn't work for that person. Mm -hmm. and finding out what works for that individual and levelling it up. Let, I, I don't want to even use levelling up with the current, current <laughs> state right. of politics. Uh, that's not a good buzzword. But, um, <laughs> but genuinely levelling the playing field because somebody will be you know, the, disadvantaged if you don't do that. Yeah. There is no... It's difficult. There's no, I don't feel that there is any right or wrong way. I'm... I've, yeah, I've got a physical disability, but I don't make. It's not something that I really need to worry about. I've, I've had it from such an early age that I just adapt. I get on with things as I do things. Yeah. But if there is a challenge, it's not to be afraid to speak up and say, "You want me to do something that way? I can't physically do that. Yeah. Is it okay if I do this? Exactly. And you'd have to be pretty cold not to be oh, able exactly. to say, actually, okay, yeah. It's not that we're making a completely new rule. We're just saying, right, we're adapting this situation to suit you and everybody else in the same way and with, and with hidden disability so so well we've spoken about mental health mm -hmm. things that you know you don't know what people are going through even in that and and a, a f well I've heard a lot of stories and especially over this week I've, I've heard some heartbreaking stories for some people but um, one that I highlighted in one of the workshops that uh, I ran a couple of days ago was about uh, somebody returning to work after a period of time off mm -hmm. to to deal with the mental health um, stress that they were under. But because of the medication they were on, their timekeeping in the morning was getting really hard, a bit of a challenge. And so the, their boss adjusted their working hours. Brilliant. That's fabulous. That's right? fantastic. Really, really good approach. That's... However, other people, peers, mm -hmm. actually started to bicker and started to um, pass comments that not only has this person been off for, us for such a long time, now they've come back, they're getting special treatment and they work different hours and whatever. 
And that, to me, is something that a leader could have pre prevented by not sharing all the details of what that person's gone mm -hmm. through, but just to communicate that this is happening, this person's coming back, and this is... Because I think it's when people are not... We come, I'm coming back to your word of communication. Mm -hmm. When people feel that there's some secret going on, or that they're not kept in the loop, or that there's secret conversations, or whatever, that's where toxicity creeps in, and that, that, that's where Huge. suspicion creeps in. Yeah. That why are they getting treated this way, why am I not? And then this, then this thing of like, well, it's not fair. Of course it's not fair, but it's not fair that that person's going through something, and just it just brings them to a point where they can do their job in the same way that you can without those pressures. Mental health at the moment is a very big subject. I think everybody's understanding that, I think it's been ignored and pushed down for quite a long time, but it's now being less stigmatized talking about yeah. it. Mental health for me is really vitally important because if, you're, if you have mentally, uh, mental health, positive mental health within the work environment for everybody, it's a productive environment. Of course Everybody will. Of course it is. If somebody is going through a mental health crisis or if they're just struggling with day-to-day -day life, you know, I, you, I, it's an, I imagine I think it's your stress bucket. Everybody's stress bucket is varying in size. You'll be able to cope with different things. And I, different from one point in the day to the next. It's not, it's not even on a long term. Every day it's changing yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah, so as that fills, if you get to a point where it's overflowing and you go into crisis, you need to have somebody there. You need to have that support from yeah. managers and people around and you. And safe environment, yeah. Yeah, and if you're then t having to take time off work. That nobody wants to have to go through that because that means that they've got to a stage where really that it's a struggle and they're needing to have some um, support through that, and it's, it's not good. But when you're returning to work, there's still that element, as you say, they're taking time off, and that can, you know, and if the bickering and that toxicity is there, all that will it then push that person straight back down, yeah, and, uh, even go, further. Then they're not going to want to come back, no. and then it becomes a real, you know, it becomes harder to manage. A lot harder. Yeah. So it's important. Com good communication yeah. is fine, but it's it's difficult because it's not really the manager's position to be able to go into detail. No. But it's also to ensure that the person feels safe to be able to share if they are going through a time of cri a mental health crisis. Talking about some of these things is really, really good for people you know they always say a problem shared is a problem halved yeah. so being able to be a vocal and be able to explain this is the situation this is why I need to do it I need to be returning to work slowly yeah. or to have the extra time in the morning people understand that and they go okay that's fine when you're here you're here you're working in 100% committed and focused on the road that's that's fine and the other people, well, they're, you're not in and they're moaning and whining. I know. They're not even doing any of the work while you're not there anyway. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And it is good to talk. Yeah. And on that note, thank you so much. It has been really good to talk. Oh, it's been an I know that you're, pleasure. you've also got a plane to catch. So I'm oh, really, no. All really the time in the world for you. really conscious of um, everyone's time, actually, this week. Because it, it's everyone thinks, oh, it's a week or it's three days or however long. But it flies by, right? It, as you're going through halls, you're constantly bumping into people and stopping and having conversations. So thank you so much for stopping by. And thanks for having given me the opportunity to talk with you. And we'll do it again soon. I look forward to it. Thank you Thank so you much. very much. Thank you. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement.